know, many artists who are interested in doing modern interpretations of folk music and coming up with uh, uh, new interpretations or creating new stories, which is which is what I like to do. I like to make up like things that are completely unbelievable and and usually they're not true. Uh, they're all uh, you know f fictitious uh, uh, images in my brain. But I really wanted my music to have. Uh, more than one meaning, you know. It, I felt that it, this this can really engage an audience. Uh, it can really, uh, you really capture people's attention. Um, it, it, it's it's multi-dimensional and it's also multicultural. <laughs> Always told me you can't do things. You can't. You can never make any music. You can never, uh, you know, have an Irish and an African singing together. You can never have too much bass player. So I realized that I just don't listen to what any anything anyone has to say. If it's if it's negative or if it doesn't encourage me to do what I want to do. If you want to do something in life, just do it yourself. That's it. You know, just no questions asked.
whole band, it was, it was, it was an awesome experience. I mean, it, was, it just clicked very easily. And when things click and they work, like, you don't question it. You just, just like, you don't ask any questions. You just, just keep playing and you just keep throwing out, like, pumping out new ideas, new compositions, and, and, you, and you see what happens. And just the band rocked. I mean, having you know Jamal and, and Matt and Sean and Abdullah and, and myself just all playing every night, night after night. It just uh, it just really became uh, such a great group. And I'm um, looking forward to recording again with them. We had, we had a good time. So and, you know the thing I admire about Sean is that he thinks big. You know he's always trying to do big. He has these grand ideas, and he he. He does them, um, and a lot of times he'll come to me with this idea, and I'll be like, you know, "What the hell are you thinking?" And then as it forms and as it develops, I'm like, "Oh wow!" It, I actually am able to see what he's hearing, and that was actually something that happened on the tour. Um, you know, some of the tunes that that we did uh, and we played night after night. After a while, I was able to really hear um, exactly how he was hearing. Um, and it was it was really great. And I'm hoping to to bring Brew by Noon to uh, Ireland and, and and West Africa. That's that's my my dream in life to, to play this music in these two uh, remote and and unique places. The amazing thing about this space is that um, like Bad Moon Rising and Evol Sonic Youth albums were recorded here. It's like I listened to those when I was like 13 years old. And like now I'm in the space where it was recorded. It's kind of cool. Um, yeah, a lot of mystery in this room. <clears throat> Bye. If we understand ourselves, we understand many things. If we understand life, then we understand who Great Spirit is. We always ask ourselves, what is Great Spirit? Well, Great Spirit shows me him and herself through music and through word and through sound. Who and what are we? We are life. Nothing more but that.